Hello everyone, this is Damon with Easy Green Screen, and for this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do an extraction where the person is wearing clothing that has pure chroma key green inside of it. The first thing when I'm doing an extraction like this is I want to sample the colors just so I can see what I'm dealing with. We got 123 for a hue, a saturation of 58, and a brightness of 48. I'll take a few samples here. See we have a little bit more brightness here and the hue is 115, 124 for the hue, 112, 118. So this is pretty centered around a hue of 120. And if you don't know, 120 degrees is pure green in the hue spectrum here. And so if we sample the background, you see our hue is 132. It's pretty solid, 132. I got 131 here in the shadow, but it's, it's pretty stuck right at 132 on the hue. And so in reality, this uniform is more of a pure green than the screen itself. Now this is going to make it so it's impossible to get a good one-click extraction with Easy Green Screen or any other software for that matter. But it's really not that difficult. There's just a few steps we need to take, and I'm going to demonstrate that. Now, we're going to start out using Easy Green Screen, but before we do, I'm going to make a quick lasso selection around areas of the hair. Now, this is optional, but if you do this, it really allows you to fine-tune your mask inside of Easy Green Screen because you can make separate adjustments to the area inside of that selection than the area outside. So areas um, like around the clothing and around this bow here, we can set those to have a much harder and cleaner edge and areas around the hair we can have a softer and more feathered edge. So I'll just run Easy Green Screen now and I can promise you this uniform is going to get erased. And of course it did. Um, but what I want to point out is if you're dealing with pure chroma key green in the clothing then you don't want to focus on trying to even get this information back when you're inside of Easy Green Screen. You want to focus on areas around the hair and around the other edges of the clothing and skin where Easy Green Screen can control and you want to optimize for that and then I'll show you how in Photoshop to get these areas back. Now if the clothing is off green like for instance um, a teal green or maybe the the, um, the Michigan State Spartan green color where the hues get you know to around 160 or so Easy Green Screen can do a pretty good job itself with that. But for this, it's pure chroma green, so we're not even going to try, attempt to um, get that back inside of Easy Green Screen. So I'll look at it against a solid gray, and the first thing I notice is I probably want a little more detail in the hair, so I'm just going to um, turn this smart radius up. Now when we're in dual mask, the blue adjustments are for that region we selected in the hair mask. The red adjustments are for the other areas. Now I'm just looking around at, there's a few areas that may, you know, could use a little cleaner edge around the uniform. So I'm just going to turn this foreground recovery up. And I could zoom in and look, but I'm not going to for this demonstration. I think it looks pretty good just looking at it. The whole point I want to make here is just optimize everything except for the green areas of the uniform. And then once you're happy with that, then you'll apply and go back into Photoshop. Now before I do anything else, I'm going to um, select this little box in your history and that's going to give you a history brush. That way, if there's anything in this process that we want to revert back to this, this exact state that it's in right now, we have this history brush selected so we can do that. So the first thing I'll point out here is that Easy Green Screen works with non-destructive layering. So I'll just demonstrate. I'll right-click in between the um, foreground layer and the mask, then I'll just click on Disable Layer Mask. And you can see now, those areas are not erased, but there is spill correction being applied to these areas of the uniform because they were green, so they're gonna get spill correction applied to them. But if we turn that spill correction layer off, now you see we're looking at the original image. 
and Easy Green Screen does not do anything to this original layer. It builds everything inside of the um, mask in these blending layers. The other three layers we didn't use, those are separate adjustments inside of um, Easy Green Screen. So I'll just turn those off. And so now we're just truly looking at the original image. So the whole basis of what we need to do, and I'll turn this spill correction back on and then re-enable this mask, but the whole basis of what we need to do is we need to put white back into this foreground mask where we need to bring back the areas of the uniform and we need to put black into the spill correction mask in those areas to remove any spill correction. So if we Alt click on Windows or Option click on Mac and click on the mask, you can see inside the mask itself. And so you can paint in there and see exactly where on the mask you're painting. Or you can um, just click on it without using the Alter option. And then you're still working inside the mask, but you're looking at the original image. And this is how I prefer to work. So I'm going to demonstrate quickly and just hypothetically speaking, if we had an area inside, like a, let's say a logo or a number that was not bordering the edge of your image, the only thing you'd have to do is grab your white brush and target this area in the foreground that had, let's say, a logo or whatever, and then go up and click on your um, spill correction mask and then paint black into that area and you could easily recover that area of the image. Now this image though, that green borders right against the background. So it's gonna take us a little more time. So what I'll do is I'll turn the spill correction off again and disable this mask. And I wanna make a quick selection of this so I can paint and um, make sure that I'm not going outside of the lines. So the tool I'm going to use to do that is the um, quick selection and you might see the magic wand if you do you right click and just select that quick select tool and you'll get this cursor with the plus sign and just make sure you're on your um, your foreground layer there and then you just brush over and it's gonna select um, colors automatically and it's pretty quick about this and you can use your right bracket to make this bigger or left bracket to make it smaller and the size of this actually does matter on this tool. Um, the larger it is, the larger the threshold value is going to be. So I usually start out with a larger um, larger brush on this, and then I work my way down to a smaller brush and refine the edges. Now, you'll notice here it actually um, selected the green screen and this uniform. So in this case, I'm going to make the brush smaller to bring the threshold value down. If you hold Alt down, you see it turns to a minus inside that brush, and that subtracts from the selection. So right off the bat, we've got a decent selection, and you can um, zoom in and, and use a smaller brush and just try to um, fine tune this the best you can. Oh, one thing I'll point out too is I always like to have this auto enhance on and you can see that when you do it, it'll first make a selection and it'll and then it will take a few seconds and then it will try to snap these lines right to the edge. And this works pretty good around, you know, the areas of your uniform and such. Now, for doing a hair mask, this will not work because it makes a hard selection. But just around areas I'll make sure we include the um, area of the hand there. So I'm not going to get too crazy, but I, I think we did a pretty good job, though. Oh, one, one thing I will point out, too, here, is you might have some areas, I can see right here, where the, it just completely blends together because these colors are just about identical. And for this case, I'm just going to use the Polygon Lasso tool. And if you hold shift down, you're adding to a selection. And I don't even think that I'll need to be too perfect on this because these colors are so similar. If I'm not perfect, it's not going to really be noticeable. Make sure I lasso that whole thing and then close it off. And we just added that to the selection. Maybe a little bit right there. I don't know. I think that's well one more and I think we'll be good here. 
probably good enough just for this demonstration anyway. So now that we've got this selection made, we can go back in. I'm going to re-enable this mask and turn the spill correction back on. But I'll click right in my foreground mask and then I'm going to grab a brush and make sure that it, you're on white. And then you can just paint inside this mask. And I try to only go over the edges that are green, like the edges of the black clothing. I try to stay away from that and the edges of the hand because I don't want to take away what Easy Green Screen's already done, especially when we're working with the spill correction. But we'll show that in the next step. Oh, you know what? And if you have some areas like down here where I, I missed, you can always go right back in and use any of your selection tools and use the add to selection option. Okay, so now I've got this area selected and then I can just continue on um, with painting those areas. And then right where the green meets the green, you can go right over that edge because we made that selection. Anything outside of that area is not affected by our paintbrush here. I'm just gonna be really quick just so I can um, move on with this video. But as I said, uh, you know, if you're doing your own image, you might want to be more careful around the around the areas that you're not trying to fix. Okay, so the the last step here is just to um, go into your spill correction mask, make sure you're painting black. In any areas where it's green against green, you just go right over. I'm going to purposely demonstrate what I was talking about to be careful you're only correcting areas you need to correct because if you go over let's say over this hand you had a lot of spill correction in there and by painting black in that mask you removed that spill correction and if you remember when we selected that history brush where that comes in useful is now that we are on our spill correction layer. I can come back in here to this history brush and I can just paint right over that area and that's going to um, bring that mask that we're painting in back to the exact state it was in this step in our history. So it's a pretty cool feature. But moving on, I'm going to um, reselect our standard brush. I'm just going to paint the spill correction off. And again, I lost my brush somehow, but anyways, again, when you're working near the edge here, try not to go where the edge where you might have some green fringing that needs the spill correction. Only paint it off where you need to. Now I could see where our foreground mask, we still are seeing through there. I missed the piece. So you can always just grab a paintbrush and just paint white right into your foreground mask is where I'm working here. Anyway, I think you um, can see what we're trying to do. And you can always zoom into your edges and be a little more precise with your own images. But um, for this purpose, for the video, I think it's good enough. Now I'll deselect that. As you can see, it actually looks pretty good. So um, it will take you a few minutes, and generally these take me about five minutes to do. Some complicated ones maybe a little bit longer. Um, if you're shooting with uh, green clothing, you might be better off with a blue screen. Although in this case, we would have had maybe some blue here to work with. Although I think Easy Green Screen, as dark as this blue was, could have probably handled that correctly without us needing to touch it up. Now the bow, you would do the same thing that we did to the uniform to bring this bow back in there, but um, it's the same technique, so I won't demonstrate that again here. So thanks for watching, and if you're interested at all in Easy Green Screen, please be sure to visit our website. There is a link in the YouTube description to this video.